then that happened was uh, Spike Lee uh, versus the Knicks, Danny's Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know the story, what happened was uh, Spike Lee, uh, somebody that everybody knows has been to basically every Nick home game yep. since before I was born. They said the past 30 years, the mm-hmm. man has spent over $10 million yeah. on Knicks tickets yeah, over the past million. 30 years. Um, so, of course, he's been there for basically longer than some of the current owner, I believe. He's been going to games longer than he's been the owner. Yep. So, he knows the ins and outs and how to get in and out of the building probably better than a lot of people. He know Madison Square Garden. So, he was in, he probably went through this, this door, like this employee door or whatever that he goes through probably every time he goes to the building. Yeah, he said that every time. Um, He went in there and it was a specific exit interest to get to where his seats were and they stopped him and he's like why are you stopping me and they were they were like giving him a hard time and then he said that two of the guys in there they were like bro we got you took him to his seat and when he got to his seat the game was going on and i think it was like halftime or like Mm -hmm. after one of the quarters the owner uh dolan james dolan Dolan came down and was like we, we had to talk. talk. We had to, we had to talk, and he's like, "Talk about what? Like, what do you mean we had to talk? Like that doesn't make sense." And yeah. um, it kind of like stop. He said that he's probably not going to go to any more Knicks games for further until further notice, um, because that he saw that as being disrespectful because of how much money that he's put into the organization, ten million dollars, and not only that's just ten million dollars that's come out of his pocket. I'm not. I'm not going to say that this is 100%, but I wouldn't be surprised that there are probably fans and tourists that come to Knicks games because they know that Spike League is going to be there. Yeah. So that's also additional yeah, money that's that could be brought right into the building because of him. So to do that to him, I feel like it's extremely disrespectful, to be honest, in my personal opinion. So hearing that, I don't know how y'all feel, but that's how I feel. I felt that it was disrespectful, and if he doesn't go to another Nick game until they make it right, I don't blame him. So, for me, I think it's dumb. Like this man, this man has been is is the greatest Knicks fan ever. There's no doubt about it. Like unless there's somebody older than him that's been to like a lot of games, he's the greatest Knicks fan ever. Um, you really can't talk about the Knicks without talking about Spike Lee. To be you honest. can't, because everywhere he goes, Bro. he wears Knicks colors. Exactly. He, everywhere he goes, he reps the Knicks. He don't rep Brooklyn. He don't. Rep, he don't rep. What no was this award else. show that just went and they award they like honored Kobe or whatever that he went to? He was, was wearing. Grammys? Yeah, he was wearing a full Kobe okay. suit. Sorry. And then on his sneakers were Knicks color sneakers. You see, everywhere like, he goes, it's the Knicks. You can't like, come on, it's Spike Lee. I, if you're a new employee, you should still know it's Spike Lee. Um, it, I'm not a big fan of James Lo- Dolan, and I'm sorry if he wants to cut me off. Because I don't he, think anybody is. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry he wants to cut us off because I said that because, you know, he's been very, like, a lot of people have been saying, like, even, like, like fans that have been going to the games and be like, yo, sell the Knicks. He, like. Man, yeah, he they been the yeah they but, they weren't doing that before but they're starting to do it now because yeah. it's, the chants are starting to become more uh, dominant now. Exactly. I mean, he so should. when when like okay when the those. whole when the whole um crowd starts saying that then what's gonna happen? He's gonna ban the whole crowd and then now, now MSG is gonna lose money. I mean, and the NBA I just said that they're gonna stop people from coming to yeah, the games because of the coronavirus. coronavirus. But that's that's a that's a that's an issue. That's like a medical issue that's happening. That's a medical outburst and like No, nah, no, nah, I feel what you're saying. So, I just but I'm just saying like imagine like the whole crowd is saying um sell the Knicks, sell the Knicks. He's gonna ban everybody in there. No, like it's you're not, not going. It's not possible. It's bro. not it's one. Gonna the, ban the, the person that initiated it, though. No, because you're not gonna know who initiated it. He probably does. So. No, I mean, they have, bro, cam- they have cameras know. all over the arena, but they, they're gonna find the area of the people and find out who's saying it, and they're just gonna they ban just them? get rid of those this, people. At the end of the day, that's gonna be a bigger issue because then those people are gonna say something like, "Oh, I got banned for saying a chant that," and like everybody's thinking, "Okay, I'm sorry." Um... Now boycott. Now less ticket sales. Um, he just owns the Knicks, not M- MSG. Like so, like now MSG is gonna look at him like, but "Yo, are not, you a dickhead?" They're not getting like, banned from sorry, the bro. arena. 
They're, they're getting banned from, from the games. From the games. Yeah. They can't. So they, it's like, they didn't but ban like, Charles Oakley they, from, <laughs> from Madison Square yeah, Garden. No. They banned him from Knicks but like, games. I'm trying to say it's like some people, like the only other reason I feel like you would go, there's only two other reasons that you would go to MSG is for a concert or for the um, Rangers game. Outside of Knicks games? Yeah. Yeah. I right? Mean, so what if these people are just basketball fans and they don't want to go to the concerts and they don't, they just want to go to the Knicks game. They, they're they Knicks fans. They go to MSG to watch the Knicks. Now you, the Knicks are going to lose money and MSG is going to lose money. So whoever, the board of trustees of MSG are going to go to what, Dolan and be like, yo, like, what are you doing? Like, you're making us lose money. Yeah. That's why, I, I, I don't know. I feel like they just need to... They need a whole reconstruction. Figure, they need to figure the stuff out. And then, like, come on, it's Spike Lee. Like, how can you... Like, I understand if you're the other team and you hate Spike Lee. Like, but how can you be a Knicks fan? He went to, like, and, somewhere. He went to, like, L.A. and they tried yeah. to kick him out. Like, Not even, because L.A. loves Spike Lee. Like, in the end of the day, people love Spike Lee. Like, Spike. in basketball, because it makes it more competitive. Because sometimes the players really be like, yo... Now I'm gonna beat I'm gonna beat the Knicks because of you, not because not because of the other person. Oh, Reggie Miller versus the Knicks. Exactly. <laughs> it's not it's not because of like yeah. he's because of um it's not because of Kevin Knox or R J Barrett. No, it's because of you. You talking this stuff in the back in the sideline. So now I'm beat the Knicks and make you embarrassed thinking that they better than me. Yo, what's my call? It? He, I'm so, oh, go ahead. What you say? No, no, go ahead. He um. Damn, I forgot. I was gonna say. Damn, I thought. Nah, I was. I was gonna say this though. Um, I was um talking about uh the Knicks, Spike Lee and James Dolan. I don't know what's going on, but um they've been having like beefs with people. Like um I don't know the whole Charles Oakley situation, but I know that it recently got resolved. Like he's rec- um he was recently able to go back. He can go back now. Yeah, I didn't now hear he, that. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. They resolved that. Uh, no, they had to go to a judge and everything. Like everything was like that Bro. intense. So I feel That's like. Beast. I don't understand. Oakley. I, I don't. Yo, Legendary. exactly. He was a Knicks player, so I don't <laughs> understand what's going on. That that's like he he's a people, Knicks legend. Like even, that's like them telling us that we. Well, our, our school is closed, but <laughs> that's like them telling us that we couldn't go back to visit. Like what? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, Yo, but like, I was gonna say, what what wait, was the bro. exact issue with with this whole Spike Lee and um um James Dolan situation? Because I read that article or I read whatever you saw, but I don't understand what he did necessarily. I still don't know. It's because he went through the wrong entrance. And it caused a big no problem. Way. They it made a big. It wasn't that they caused a big problem. No, yeah, I feel like they made a big. They, they made, made a big, big, did, they issue made a big deal about it. Oh, so he, of course not. he he said. I think um, he said um, from what I heard on like radio show. You want me to play the clip? The he said. said. Um, yeah, he was on. Like y'all treated seconds. me like Charles Oakley. Yeah, he he told them no. He he didn't say y'all treat me like or something like that. He said. Um, if y'all gonna do this to me, arrest me like my brother Charles Oakley. That's what. Okay, you see. And it's a shame because these are two great. Yeah, I'm not gonna say two. This is a great Knicks fan, like the greatest Knicks fan of all time. Yeah, Hold on, I'm gonna just like, play what he said. Hold on. I've been using the same entrance for 28 plus years. The employee's entrance on 33rd Street. Yesterday, last night, I go in, my ticket gets scanned. I'm in. I walk. You know the elevator. Yes. I go in the elevator, and elevator. I, and also, people having their ticket scanned also. And elevator's not moving. And the security guy comes to me and says, we need you to get off the elevator. I said, for what? So we, well, we could speak about it now. I said, I'm not getting out of the elevator. So it was another five minutes. Then they finally send the elevator up because they know. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm pausing for a second. He yeah. sound, I have a, uh, <laughs> he's not really technically my grandfather, but I look up to him as my grandfather. Bro, he talks just like Spike Lee. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, his voice and the way he talks, he his voice is a little bit more raspy. Yeah, but the way that he the way that he talks, like yeah, his you know how people, yeah, 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 it's just like Spike Lee. I'm not getting up the elevator. Get on the elevator, as you know, people don't know. The garden floor is on the fifth floor. I'll go up to five, and security's waiting for you. Like he just ran out of Macy's stealing something. <laughs> ran out of Macy's. <laughs> and they said, you, this guy, security guy, they're all, this comes from the top. He says, Mr. Lee, you have to leave Madison Square Garden. They wanted me to leave the garden, walk outside, that, out to 33rd Street, employer, where I came from, walk outside, and come back on 31st Street. 
Mm. And I said, I'm not doing that. First of all, you scan my ticket. You can't scan a ticket twice. Also, I know that once you leave a sporting arena event, you can't come back in. So I don't trust these guys, so I'm not going for the okie doke. Also, why are you taking a perp walk? For what? Let me just get I, in. Well, let, me, let me finish. Okay. So I said, I'm not leaving. Then I, and then they said, we want you to leave the garden. I put oh, my man. hands behind my back, and I said, arrest me like my brother Charles Oakley. Then I got that guy. There's some brothers I know. I grew up in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Yeah, I, I told the story already. But, yeah, that's that's the words coming from his mouth. And, like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on it because we kind of saying the same thing. Like, they got to figure that out because they can't mm -hmm. do that to Spike. That's that's crazy. Spike Lee, bro. And if he don't go back, I don't blame him if he don't go back, to be Spike. honest. Because that's, that's wild. Yeah, first of all, not, no disrespect to Danny, and everybody makes a joke all the time, but the Knicks is trash. And you, how are you going to ban somebody and, t and he wants to support y'all and y'all trash? <clears throat> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just the reality. Nah, like, I'm not, I'm the reality is the Knicks are trash right now. And yeah. it, it happened a long time ago, and then Melo came and stuff like that, and then yeah. it happened. It, it always ever happens. since ever it's, since James Dolan has had the Knicks, it's, yeah. they've been, it's been just shit. trash. So nowhere near like his father. His father like had great yeah. Knicks players. Yeah. He was doing what he needed to do. This is what happens with inheritance, though. Like some people just don't know, you know, what nah, they're I ain't giving. Gonna say, I ain't gonna say that because uh, the Yankees is still. 